Hello, my name is Aaron. I do rants and reviews, and today I'm going to be showing you how to hopefully get ambient mode up and running again on your Lenovo Smart Tab M10. So I already did a full length review on this. You can check that video out if you wish, uh, but I think it's a pretty great deal. And one of the selling points of it is that you could use it as a smart display with Google Assistant and ambient features, things like that. However, Google seems pretty intent on breaking that, uh, and I wasn't really able to confirm it, but it seems like Google really just wants to steer people towards their first party devices, like the really overpriced and just not great Pixel tablet that they just released. Uh, and it seems like they're maybe intentionally breaking third party devices and specifically ambient mode on those devices, which is really frustrating and a, a, probably a topic for another video. But anyway, I'm going to show you five steps that can hopefully get your ambient mode up and running again on your Lenovo Smart Tab. First thing you want to do is you check the Google version. So just hold down, go to App Info, and this will tell you what version of the Google app you are on. Uh, if you are on version 14, which I believe is the current latest version, ambient mode will not work, at least in my experience. Uh, so you're going to want to uninstall updates, uh, which will be available up here. If you have a newer version, just tap the icon and make sure you uninstall updates to the factory version. All right, so once you've done that, another thing you can check on is your device backups. I'm not sure if Google restores app settings from this, but there is a possibility that it will try and install the newer version of Google once again from your device backup. So if that's been a problem, you can delete your backup or just stop syncing that altogether. Uh, the next step is that you have to disable the Google Play Store. So to do that, you go into your apps, go into your settings, uh, because I have found that unless I do this, the Google app will just update on its own completely independently. So as you can see here, the, this is the Google Play Store. I have disabled it on this device. Now this will mean that certain apps and certain features might not work. For example, if you use something like Pokemon Go that constantly updates, you will not be able to update that unless you re-enable the Google Play Store. So just keep that in mind. However, for me, this device typically stays at home. I don't have a lot of extraneous apps on it, uh, so I don't really need to go into the Play Store all that much. Uh, but I have found that only disabling it works. I tried limiting the battery usage, disabling uh, background data. None of that worked. Disabling was the only thing that prevented the Google app from updating once again. So now that you've done all that, then you can go into the Google app and I'll show you the path for how to get to ambient mode. Uh, you can just follow that to get into the settings for ambient mode. Uh, and this whole screen for tablet just straight up does not exist on the newer version of the Google app. I looked a lot of places, I looked everywhere, and I just can't find it which again goes back to what I was saying earlier, how Google just seems pretty intent on getting rid of ambient mode or anything like that on third-party devices. Uh, but once you get the original version of the Google app restored, you should be able to get to this screen, which allows you to turn on ambient mode. You can turn on personal results and even select photo albums from Google Photos that you want to display. And that works pretty well for me. Uh, once you get all of that set up, there's one last thing that you should check in your settings, and that is your battery and charging. So let's go back here to our uh, lock screens and security. Uh, because remember, ambient mode only works while your device is locked. So if you have smart lock or anything like that that keeps it um, that keeps it unlocked while you're on your home Wi-Fi or anything like that, or you have a longer timeout, 
that is going to affect ambient mode. So at, right here, I have it set uh, so that the power button instantly locks the device, which means I can set this down in the dock, press the power button, and press. I just press the power button twice, the screen pops up, the device is locked, and it starts ambient mode almost immediately. The other thing about ambient mode is that the device has to be charging. Uh, this device comes with a battery saving feature, which will max the charging at 60%. So if you have that feature turned on, ambient mode will turn off after it stops charging. So just something to keep in mind, uh, ambient mode will also turn off on its own after about four hours of use in my experience. Uh, but those are the steps that I have followed uh, and I have been able to get ambient mode to work fairly consistently now. Uh, so hopefully you can take those five steps and that will help you to get your ambient mode back on your device. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again in another video. Take care. Bye.